I just wanted to share some of um, our land. Um, our land goes up there. I just, uh, I managed to get out in my car and I parked it out the front. I'm not daring to come back in because uh, access is dodgy and if it rains, I'll, you know, I don't want to get trapped again. But it's a really nice walk and um, I just happened to look up and it was just so beautiful on the rocks there. I mean, it probably doesn't look as good in, in a video as it does in in real life. It's just so beautiful out here. Um, despite, you know, uh, issues that we have here with a few of the neighbours, most of the people are really good and the actual environment itself is really beautiful. I would just make sure that I'm not um, ever left without supplies again or that my car's trapped up up this road again um, I'll walk I don't mind um, I'm gonna get people to drop off supplies for me until I can uh, work out what the best vehicle is to get I'm deciding between a quad bike and a little farm buggy whichever it is it has to be four-wheel drive and you can see the horse is poor Henry. Oh damn, I dropped my, dropped my purse in. You can see the, can see the Brumby girls up there. And three of the horses up, Paddy's up there with um, Penny and Cleo. And uh, so I was so busy looking, I forget to look at the phone. And Arthur's somewhere around, I'll grab him and give him another feed. I've ordered some more feed which I'll pick up tomorrow. I just need someone to bring it in for me. So I'll pick everything up and leave it in the car and then somebody will come and unload it and bring it up for me. My family will do that. Anyway, just wanted to share, it's just such a beautiful day. It's so nice to have some sun because it's just, we had so much rain. And um, I'm looking actually at my neighbor's property across to mine. So some of this, paddock here that's not mine at the front but I just love how this valley you know the view of this valley and when we eventually build up it's going to be such a beautiful view okay I'll leave that I'm back again um I just like this is the road right look how clear that water is it's so beautiful because it's just trickling through and some of it's washed off but it's actually not done too badly and it's got some mud on it It'll need to have more um, stuff put on it. There's Arthur's footprints. His bless his little heart. And um, see this here? It's like a little mini waterfall. So beautiful. And I need to get in there because in there, like, there's a water source for them and I can put horses in there. Well, they're not going to just be in the dark. It goes up and they go up into the sun and all around. But I just need to find out where the fences go to. Isn't they beautiful? This is a lily killy. It's enormous. It's lovely. They get even bigger. The horses used to love coming here when they could roam around. Yeah. I mean, I could fence this off like this section on this side of the fence I could fence off to include in that but I don't even know if it's worth it but it's just so lovely look at it like it's really a paradise I need to remember that when I'm feeling down you know you know it's been very isolating and just need to remember why I came here and you know I came here for my horses and my health and my kids will always have land to 80 acres. It's a fair slice of land. Enough land for everybody. I want to plant fruit trees and grow vegetables and planted a lot of gum trees. And some of those have grown up. But I don't know how many have survived the flood. I might walk up there. I'll let Henry off this chain, poor little thing. He goes berserk when he sees me when I've been away. Well, particularly he did yesterday because I walked back and he was like um, expecting the car you know so it was like mum mum where are you poor little thing 
And I've got one solar power unit set up for me, kindly set up by a good friend, and that was very nice. And um, a kind friend, I suppose. I don't know him that well, but he was a kind friend, as opposed to a good friend. I mean, a good as in kind. And um, so I can hear a vehicle. I was just wondering if it's coming up behind me. And um, yeah. So that fence is totally down, I'll have to fix it up. Yeah, so that our property goes up to that ridge there and it goes down, it's sort of hard to tell. I need to draw like a little map. And then it goes across here and it goes up there and it goes all the way down. You can't see where it ends because then the ridges further down aren't mine. So like a lot of it's like rocky and bushy and that's fine because I actually want to um keep the keep you know parts of it dedicated to wildlife sanctuary and the trees are important because they're the lungs of the earth hey aren't they I'm just having a look at the trees amazing aren't they look at that cedar tree there that one's in the focus of many of my videos and my morning views is we look across and that cedar tree in the middle of the frame not on the left it's actually a lot bigger than it looks like this it um yeah it's in a lot of my monotype uh, screenshots there used to be a lot of cedar trees along here and um, they were all logged and exported to England. Oh, there's Arthur. Little lights, that's the tree. Hi, my boy. He's a good boy. He was so cute. I was walking home. It was dark. Actually, it was dark by the time I got home and I called him and he followed me. He walked next to me. It was like having a friend walking with me. It was so nice. You're never alone with these creatures. I just wish he wasn't so thin. Hey Arthur MacArthur, my big boy. Hey, hey, what you doing? What you doing? Can we show everybody what you look like? <laughs> look at you. You still got your belly there, but you're just so skinny on the top. Hey, hey, he's not. He's definitely not as weak as what he was. He's much stronger and he's able to get up hills and get around and he lopes around with me. He's a good boy, but I just wish he wasn't so skinny. Look, eating, eating. See, he's eating that. He doesn't drop his grass. Yeah, he's such a nice horse. He's I was going to say such a nice person. <laughs> He's got a nice personality. <laughs> How about you, my boy? You're pretty cute. He doesn't like being touched around the face or the head. So I always try and pat him on the neck and the withers and the shoulder and scratch his butt. But, but I might go. Bye.